Okay, so in this video, still on commutative rings, uh, we are going to pick R, a commutative ring, and I just want to leave some uh, elementary uh, properties, okay, or some elementary results, okay. So nothing much about this, so I'm going to fly quickly over this. Uh, looking at the ring, commutative ring axioms, it's pretty obvious that 0 times A will be 0, okay, for all A and the ring, okay? So the proof for this is so easy that uh, anybody can do this. So you pick 0 times A and 0 times A is what? Well, this is the, the very simple trick. 0 is the same as 0 plus 0a, zero right? So this will be 0 times a plus 0 times a. So, sorry, zero, yes, 0 times a plus 0 times a. So here we pick 0. So this is the same because 0 plus 0 is 0. And here we use the ring distributivity. Okay, we are in a ring. So uh, we have this distributi uh, distributivity. So this is 0 times a plus 0 times a. Okay, and that, of course, is uh, 0 times a is, and of course, this is 0. Okay, uh, second obvious property, um, if 1 is equal to 0, right, then the ring will only have the element 0, okay? And in this case, we talk about the 0 ring, okay? And this is really easy to prove because uh, the proof is something like we pick an element A. So A will be the same as 1 times A, right, by the ring axiom. But by hypothesis, 1 is 0. So we have 0 times A. So that will be 0. So any element in the ring will be the zero element. So this will be a zero ring. Okay? Third property. Um, if we call minus a the additive inverse of a, so if minus a is the additive inverse of a, then minus 1 times minus a will be a. Okay? The proof is one of those uh, trivial proofs. We pick 0 and then we transform 0 in minus 1 plus 1. Okay? And that will be the So this product will be 0, right? Because this is the 0 element, 0 times minus a, and we already proved that 0 times a is 0, 0 times any, any element is 0, so 0 times any element is 0, so 0, 0 times any element is 0, okay? Now we use distributivity, okay? So minus a um, plus 1 times minus a. What is this? Minus 1. So, um, so this is a and this is minus a, right? Well, this concludes the proof, right?
because uh, all this is zero, right? So we have here a um, equal to minus a, so this minus one times minus a will be equal this will be equal to a right and that's what we wanted to prove right we wanted to prove this it's that minus 1 times minus a is equal to a so this is the third uh, property so the fourth property is minus 1 times a is the same as minus a for all a in the ring the fifth is I'm not going to prove this um, for all n in the natural numbers uh, and for n times 1 if n times 1 is equal to 0 then n a will be 0 for all a in the ring. For all a in the ring. Okay. The, the sixth property is the binomial theorem. Okay. So if a plus b to the power of n okay so in a commutative ring the binomial uh, theorem holds for all a and b in the ring this is this is the same as from 0 to n combinations right n r a to the power of r times b to the power of n minus r okay for all a and b in the ring the proofs here are really simple so if anyone has any problem with this just let me know